All right, so it's hot as hell in my house right now, so I've got my window open in hopes that I don't melt into a pile. Hi, my name is Jimmy from Glassy Gaming, and if you aren't aware yet, meet your matches out now. That's right, I'm just as excited as you are. Now, I could talk about all the cool new things like the new Strange Crate and matchmaking mode, all that, but you can read all that right now. I'm gonna talk about the balance changes, cause boy oh boy are these some crazy fucking changes. And I, I kinda skimmed over, I didn't read all of them just yet. I did skim through quite a few of them though, so I have a, a decent idea of what has happened already, but you know. And again, my window's open, so if you hear like birds chirping, just assume that that's uh, some added ambience. It really adds to the uh, flavor of the video, a nice spicy bird chirp, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's good for your soul, I promise. Anyways. Let's get on with the balance changes. Now, first we have Scout. Scout received a change to the Criticola, added Marked for Death debuff for two seconds after the buff effect expires. I think that was a pretty well needed nerf. You know, it, it's nothing too crazy. Like the Criticola wasn't like disgustingly broken, but it was a bit too good. So now we have something to dial it back a little bit. It's nothing like crazy, but it's definitely a change. The Soda Popper added on hit build hype removed build hype by running around so basically now if you use a soda popper you have to hit people you can't just run around get your little flying ability and then just fly everywhere you actually have to do shit now i'm sorry it's just how the game works now cry about it short stop added an alt fire attack reach out and shove someone i don't know what the fuck that means but i'm interested that sounds kind of cool removed plus healing bonus Reduced pushback vulnerability to plus 20% from plus 40%. So some decent nerfs, and I'm guessing you can consider that alt fire a buff, maybe? I'm not too sure. I mean, it sounds cool in theory. Who knows what it's going to be, though? I mean, maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. Sun on a stick. Take 25% less damage from fire while deployed. That's that's a decent little buff. You know, nothing too crazy. Nothing to make the, the item overpowered. But it does help make the item more useful, because pyros do have a tendency to fuck up scouts if they get the jump on them, so I mean, now if you have the sun on a stick and you, you're having just so much trouble with pyros, you can run that and you can just enjoy not dying as fast. Soldier, the Righteous Bison, fixed a bug causing players to be hit by the same projectile multiple times, causing the damage dealt to vary wildly. Per shot damage has been increased to compensate, resulting in slightly more damage on average. Point blank deals 54, previously 20 to 80. Maximum range deals 24, previously 14 to 56. So that's a pretty good, I guess it's like a side guy. I wouldn't call it a buff or a nerf because before, I, mean, I guess it's, it's more of a, re a reliable buff because before you did a bunch of damage but you really couldn't control it too well. Whereas now, you do more damage and you know how much damage you're doing. It's not gonna be a guess, it's gonna be a for sure, I just did 54 damage. And that's pretty helpful. Slowed projectile by 30%. Projectile damage reduced by 25% for each enemy penetrated. Updated projectile impact sound. So some decent nerfs to the Righteous Bison. I mean, the damage is probably more of a buff. The rest of it was definitely nerfs though. And I mean, I can see why people would want those nerfs. I never really had a problem with the weapon, but then again, I don't really use it that much either, so, oh well. I can't really make a very good informed decision on it. But, you know, some decent changes that will probably change how this weapon's used, which I really can't complain about. The disciplinary action. Reduced duration of speed bonus on teammates to two seconds from three. So a decent little nerf for the disciplinary action. Probably one of the more commonly used melee weapons by the soldier, so it makes sense to kind of like, just keep it in check a little bit more. Like it wasn't broken, but it, it could use like a little tuning down. Rocket jumper, updated model materials and sound. I don't know what the model and materials are gonna look like, but I mean, that's always nice. You know, nice little update to the cosmetic thing is always good. Sniper, cozy camper, now requires a full charge to gain flinch resistance. Sydney sleeper, when fully charged or when making a headshot, now applies to Roddy and Radius. Scope shots, now extinguish teammates. And the cleaner's carbine, removed hidden plus 10% damage, taken multiplier under the effect. Honestly, the buff, or the nerf to the cozy camper was kind of necessary. Like, the flinch resistance was a little bit dumb. I mean, it wasn't like crazy, but it's good that they kind of dialed it back a little bit. Sydney sleeper buffs, I feel like, were kind of necessary. It's nothing too great, like, you know, you still can't headshot with it, so it's still more favorable to use a regular sniper. But if you're able to get consistent body shots on, like, enemies, and if you're able to, like, extinguish your teammates pretty convincingly, that could really show your skill, I guess, which is, you know, pretty good. 
Then the cleaner's carbine was just more of, I believe, a bug that was... Or maybe it wasn't a bug, I mean, I, I guess I guess it was just like a little buff for us, which I mean, that's fine. Heavy. Natasha and Brass Beast, 20% damage resistance not only applies when spun up and below 50% max health, a very, very needed nerf, I feel like. Coolong Heater added minus 10% damage, added plus 25% increased damage versus burning players, reduced ammo drain to minus 4 per second from minus 6, reduced pulse damage from Ring of Fire to 12 from 15, due to increased damage versus burning, so... Honestly, those are some pretty good buffs, I feel like. I feel like those are probably decent for the Hulong Heater. I mean, it's more situational now, but it does sound like a more viable weapon because of it. Buffalo Steak Sandwich, fixed to damage taken multiplier accidentally being plus 10% instead of the listed plus 25. Just a little bug fix, that's pretty good. Spy, base, max speed increased to 320 from 300, so we're gonna have faster spies. I think that's kind of a cool idea. I don't know how it'll play out, because I'm only like, reading this out on paper, it's not actually being demonstrated for me in game just yet, so we'll see. Enforcer, attacks, pierce, resist, and absorb effects from all sources. That's pretty interesting. That's a pretty necessary buff for the Enforcer. I think that that'll be pretty good against like vaccinator medics and other forms of, you know, resist and absorb that you know a lot of players have trouble dealing with this will definitely help pyro all flamethrowers added direct damage reduces medi gun healing and resist shield effects by 25 percent medics hear a healing interrupted sound when this is happening to their heal target that's pretty cool that i feel like could be a really huge buff i don't know it's only on paper i have not seen it demonstrated yet but minus 25 percent healing is huge I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but a pyro on a medic like soldier combo or medic heavy combo could really damage that combo. Like that's very interesting and it may be the, the buff that pyro needed to be truly competitive. The man melter removed hidden 20% fire rate penalty. It's a little buff for the man melter, that's not bad. Medic, base. All meta guns allow the medic to match the speed of their heal target which was previously only available on the quick fix. I think that's a pretty huge buff. That's a pretty huge buff for the medic. It's nothing like game breaking, but it definitely is interesting. It also indirectly nerfs the quick fix a bit, which is good because the quick fix was considered like one of the most overused meta guns in competitive mode for like a while. Uh, not in like professional play, but like in the competitive matchmaking, it was used a lot. Quick fix, uber charge rate reduced to plus 15% from plus 25%. Another nerf to the quick fix, this may kill the weapon, I'm kind of worried about that, but we'll see. I mean, at least now it's not going to be as overbearingly disgusting as what it was, because the quick fix was pretty nutty before. Overdose, increased movement speed bonus to plus 20% from plus 10, increased damage penalty to minus 15% from minus 10%. So, a buff and a nerf, I don't really think it's going to make the overdose that much better, if anything, but we'll see what happens, I guess. I mean, it's just more for, like, running around, but... As Array 7 already said, you're probably not going to want to have that out all the time. Like, anyways, if like you're a, a medic, like that's probably not the play, but you know, we'll see what happens. Drop metaguns, stored uber charge begins to decay over time after coming to rest. That was probably a pretty necessary change. I mean, now you can't just pick up ubers like nothing. Like, that'd be kind of dumb. So I'm glad they kind of changed that out real quick. Demo Man, base. All boots now require a shield to activate any movement speed bonus listed on the item. That's a decent little nerf that was probably pretty necessary. The Iron Bomber decreased the fuse time from 1.4 seconds from 2.0. That's another little like buff for the Iron Bomber, I believe, so that's, that's pretty good, I think. Cookie Bomb Launcher increased charge time reduction to minus 70% from minus 50%. Increased damage bonus for max charge shots to plus 35% from plus 25%. Increased clip size penalty to minus 50% from minus 25%. Remove sticky bombs fizzle 4 seconds after landing. Very interesting changes to this quickie bomb launcher. I'm not sure if that's going to make it more viable or not. I mean, like, th there's some buffs and some nerfs, and I guess, like, we'll see what happens. I mean, the buffs sound pretty good on paper, but you never know. I mean, it's hard to gauge these just by reading them. You have to see them used in a professional setting to really know just how good they're going to be. The Sticky Jumper updated model materials and sound. That seemed pretty obvious with the, with the Rocket Jumper change, but you know, still pretty cool to see. Engineer, base. Level one teleporters now cost 50 metal, down from 125. I believe that's huge. I think that's a really good thing to have. It encourages a more supportive playstyle for the engineer. It makes the engineer a bit more viable because now you can 
build more things faster, which is always good. Widowmaker, damage increased plus 10% when attacking the same target as your sentry. That's a pretty good buff. It's nothing crazy, but it, it's a pretty good helper for like the offensive NG play style that a lot of Widowmaker users like to run, so that's pretty cool. Eureka effect, reduced 50% less metal from dispensers and pickups to 20%, added teleporters cost 50% less metal. So that means now, with the recent, you know, the current change to the level 1 teleporter cost, they now cost 25% with the Eureka effect. That's kind of interesting, I kind of like that. Really adds the uh, engineering viability there. The short circuit, base projectile attack is minus 10 metal, hit or miss, and then add minus 5 metal for each projectile destroyed. Sometimes a buff, sometimes a nerf. That's kind of interesting. That's that's really kind of interesting. I, I'm not too sure how that'll play out, but I mean, it's definitely interesting to hear. The Pompson, fix an X point with shooting through your own buildings. Kevin and his opponent will be very happy to hear that. Increase close range damage to 72 from 62. Reduce long range damage from 32 from 42. Updated projectile impact sound. So basically now, it's going to do more damage from close up and less from long range. So it's not going to be like a sniper anymore, which a lot of people were kind of like just long range spamming it it's much better at a close range now which is i think a good change overall a lot of these changes are very interesting to hear and of course there are some map changes a lot of bug fixes overall this update has me excited i'm not going to tell you what team to vote for or or what to do when it comes to matchmaking you guys already know all that it's all it's all up to you you know what i mean i just want to talk about these weapon changes and these balance changes because they're pretty necessary and they're pretty big. Valve is trying to make every single class and every single weapon viable for competitive, and I can appreciate their effort in that. So hopefully you guys can too. I really hope this update lived up to all the hype. I personally think it did. It looks very, very cool, and I'm especially excited to see where the war part of it goes, because if we remember the last one, Soldier got gunboats, one of his most commonly used secondary weapons ever. So... We'll see what happens. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and listening. As always, I really do appreciate it. GG. Peace the fuck out.